What up everyone, Reege here for Animal Wire, and you better call the aquarium on this one. Cause holy shit, what is that thing, Jay? It ain't a sea turtle, a baby wheel, or even a tuner, bro. We must be staring at the one and only ocean sunfish. Oh great, now it's staring back. No way we're gonna win this contest, but for real, those eyes sure are something. And their size probably reflects the importance of vision in their day-to-day -day lives. Which makes a whole lot of sense when you consider these are master foragers who often dive hundreds of meters to feed. It's down here they can find plenty of the gelatinous zooplankton that seems to make up a majority of their diet. So we're talking a lot of jellyfish, siphonophores, and tenophores. But don't be fooled by their docile nature. Cause it wasn't too long ago sunfish had a reputation for being these slow lethargic creatures who weren't the most talented in the swimming department. For example, take this guy, not looking too spirited. But thankfully advancements in our tracking capabilities have proven otherwise, and it's been shown they cruise around at speeds on par with some of the more renowned predatory fishes like salmon, marlins, and even blue sharks. But I'll give you their build is oddly very different, and they look like someone just lobbed off half a fish, slapped a couple fins on, and wasn't really paying attention to the manual while doing so. So how does a beautiful mess like this move about so effortless? Well the answer is lots and lots of buoyant gelatinous tissue. It's the key to supporting most if not all of its weight, and it doesn't even compress under the pressure associated with changing depths. This means wherever our friend chooses to be, he's sitting pretty, and a lot of the time that happens to be at the surface. This is why they're called sunfish, they just love basking in those glorious rays. Not to mention it's a vital necessity after spending extended periods of time foraging in cold deep waters where it happens their voluminous size helps maintain that heat. Cause I don't know if you noticed, these guys are some big fellas and are actually considered the largest bony fish on the planet. I've heard some say bigger isn't better, but in this case I think it's pretty freaking cool. So it looks like my man Thomas B came through in the clutch again with this topic, thank you kind sir. To the rest of you, once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.